Hey everyone, welcome to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of construction and engineering. In construction, a strong foundation is super important. It's the backbone of any structure, ensuring stability and durability. It's what holds up the whole building, right? Without a solid foundation, even the most beautifully designed buildings can fail. Well, eccentric footings are a special kind of foundation. They play a crucial role in specific scenarios where traditional foundations might not be the best fit. They're really helpful when you don't have much space or when the weight on the foundation isn't even. Imagine building in a crowded city where every inch of space counts. In this video, we'll learn what eccentric footings are, when we use them, why they're good, and how to design them. We'll break down complex concepts into easy to understand segments. Eccentric footings are like shallow foundations. They are designed to handle loads that are not symmetrically placed. We use them to support columns or other parts of a building when the weight isn't in the middle of the footing. This is common in buildings with irregular shapes or in renovations. This off-center weight is what makes them eccentric. The load doesn't align with the center of the footing, creating unique challenges. Think of a seesaw with a bigger kid on one side. The seesaw tips because the weight isn't balanced. The support closer to the bigger kid feels more pressure. Similarly, in eccentric footings, the area directly under the load experiences higher stress. It's the same with eccentric footings. The part right under the weight has the most pressure. Engineers must carefully design these footings to handle the uneven load. Knowing about eccentric footings is important for architects, engineers and builders. It allows them to create safe, efficient and innovative designs. It helps them make sure buildings are safe and strong. Properly designed eccentric footings can prevent structural failures and extend the lifespan of a building. So, let's learn more about eccentric footings and why they're important in building today. Stay tuned as we explore the intricacies of these fascinating foundations and how they contribute to modern construction. Eccentric footings are different because of how the weight sits on them. Unlike regular footings, where the weight is spread out evenly, eccentric footings have different pressure across the bottom. This happens because the weight isn't in the middle. Imagine a column that's not in the center of a footing. The column's weight pushes down, but it doesn't push down equally everywhere. The area right under the column has the most pressure. As you move away from the column, the pressure gets less and less. This uneven pressure makes designing them tricky. Engineers have to figure out the highest and lowest pressures to make sure the footing stays put. Things like how heavy the column is, how far it is from the center, and the size and shape of the footing all matter. Understanding this pressure is super important for designing safe and strong eccentric footings. Eccentric footings are great for handling off-center weight, which is a common challenge in many construction projects. These specialized footings are designed to support structures where the load is not symmetrically distributed. This can happen for a variety of reasons, such as architectural design choices, site constraints, or the need to maximize usable space. By effectively managing these off-center loads, eccentric footings ensure the stability and safety of the structure, so we use them in lots of different situations. Whether it's a residential building, a commercial complex, or an industrial facility, eccentric footings can be found in a wide range of construction projects. They are particularly useful in urban environments where space is at a premium and buildings need to be designed to fit within tight boundaries. In these scenarios, the ability to support off-center loads without compromising the integrity of the structure is invaluable. They're especially helpful when space is tight or the weight isn't balanced. In densely populated areas, construction sites are often limited in size, making it difficult to place footings directly under the center of the load. Eccentric footings provide a solution by allowing the load to be supported from an offset position. This flexibility is crucial for ensuring that buildings can be constructed safely and efficiently, even in the most challenging conditions. Let's look at some examples. First, boundary walls. Boundary walls are a common feature in many properties, serving as a barrier between different plots of land. When constructing these walls, it's often necessary to place the footings close to the property line. However, this can create a problem if there isn't enough space to position the footing directly under the center of the wall. When building a wall on a property line, you might not have space for a footing right under the middle of the wall. This is where eccentric footings come into play. By placing the footing off-center, you can still provide the necessary support for the wall without encroaching on the neighboring property. This approach not only maximizes the use of available space, but also ensures that the wall remains stable and secure. 
Eccentric footings solve this problem by supporting the off-center weight. The design of these footings allows them to distribute the load evenly, even when the weight is not centered. This is achieved through careful engineering and the use of materials that can withstand the stresses associated with off-center loads. As a result, boundary walls built with eccentric footings are just as strong and durable as those with centrally placed footings. Second, columns near property lines. Columns are another structural element that often requires the use of eccentric footings. When columns are placed near property lines, there may not be enough space to position the footing directly under the column. This can be a significant challenge, especially in urban areas where buildings are constructed close to one another. Just like with walls, columns near property lines often need eccentric footings. These footings allow the column to be supported from an offset position, ensuring that the load is transferred to the foundation without encroaching on adjacent properties. This is particularly important for maintaining good relations with neighbors and complying with local building codes. The footing stretches away from the property line, supporting the column without going onto the neighbor's land. This design not only provides the necessary support for the column, but also helps to prevent potential legal disputes over property boundaries. Third, tall buildings. Tall buildings present unique challenges when it comes to load distribution. The columns in these structures often need to align with the floors above but this alignment doesn't always match up with the foundation on the ground. In tall buildings, the columns often line up with the floors above, but not always with the foundation on the ground. This misalignment can create significant structural challenges, as the load from the columns needs to be transferred to the foundation in a way that maintains the stability of the building. Eccentric footings provide a solution by allowing the load to be transferred from the column to the foundation, even when the two are not perfectly aligned. Eccentric footings allow for this transferring the weight from the column to the foundation. This is achieved through a combination of engineering techniques and the use of materials that can handle the stresses associated with off-center loads. By using eccentric footings, engineers can ensure that tall buildings remain stable and secure even when the columns and foundation are not perfectly aligned. Fourth, buildings with unusual shapes. Modern architecture often features buildings with unique and unconventional shapes. These designs can create challenges when it comes to load distribution, as the weight of the structure may not be evenly distributed. Eccentric footings are an ideal solution for these situations, as they can be designed to support loads from a variety of angles and positions. Buildings with odd shapes or columns that aren't evenly spaced often need eccentric footings to handle the different weight distribution. By using eccentric footings, Architects and engineers can create innovative and visually striking buildings without compromising on structural integrity. These footings provide the flexibility needed to support complex designs, ensuring that the building remains stable and secure. These examples show how useful eccentric footings are in different building situations. From boundary walls to tall buildings and uniquely shaped structures, eccentric footings provide the support needed to handle off-center loads. They are an essential tool in modern construction, allowing for greater design flexibility and the efficient use of space. They're a great tool for architects and engineers because they can handle off-center weight. By incorporating eccentric footings into their designs, professionals can create buildings that are both functional and aesthetically pleasing. These footings ensure that structures remain stable and secure, even in the most challenging conditions, making them an invaluable asset in the field of construction. Eccentric footings have some great advantages, making them a good choice in certain situations. These specialized foundations are designed to handle loads that are not centered, which can be particularly useful in a variety of construction scenarios. By understanding the unique benefits of eccentric footings, engineers and builders can make more informed decisions about their projects. They're good at managing off-center weight and working in tight spaces. This is especially important in urban environments where space is at a premium. Eccentric footings allow for more flexibility in design and construction, enabling projects to proceed smoothly even in the most constrained areas. Let's look at some of the benefits. First, they save money. Construction projects are often constrained by budget and finding ways to reduce costs without compromising quality is crucial. Eccentric footings can be a cost-effective solution because they require less excavation and fewer materials compared to traditional foundations. Eccentric footings are often cheaper than other foundations, especially when space is limited. The reduced need for extensive digging and material usage translates to significant savings. This cost efficiency can make a big difference in the overall budget of a construction project. 
allowing funds to be allocated to other important areas. They're smaller, so you don't have to dig as much or use as many materials. Second, they save space. In densely populated urban areas, every square foot counts. Eccentric footings enable builders to maximize the use of available space, making it possible to construct buildings in locations that might otherwise be deemed unsuitable. In cities or places where space is tight, eccentric footings are really helpful. They provide the necessary support without taking up too much room, which is essential for projects in crowded urban settings. This space-saving feature is one of the key reasons why eccentric footings are favored in metropolitan construction. Because they can support off-center weight, you have more options for placing columns which gives you more usable space in the building. This flexibility in column placement can lead to more innovative and efficient building designs, optimizing the interior layout and enhancing the overall functionality of the structure. Third, they handle weight well. Eccentric footings are designed to manage both vertical loads and lateral forces, ensuring the stability and integrity of the structure. This capability is particularly important in areas prone to seismic activity or other environmental challenges. Eccentric footings are good at handling both straight down weight and twisting forces. This makes them versatile and reliable, capable of supporting a wide range of building types and structural requirements. Their ability to distribute loads effectively helps prevent issues such as uneven settling or structural failure. This makes them good for lots of different building parts, from simple walls to heavy columns. Whether it's a residential building, a commercial complex, or an industrial facility, eccentric footings can provide the necessary support and stability, adapting to the specific needs of each project. Fourth, they work in different soil types. Soil conditions can vary greatly from one location to another, and the ability to adapt to these variations is crucial for any foundation. Eccentric footings can be customized to suit different soil characteristics, ensuring a stable and secure foundation regardless of the ground conditions. While checking the soil is always important for any foundation, eccentric footings can be designed to work well in different soil conditions. Engineers can adjust the size, shape, and reinforcement of the footing to match the specific requirements of the soil, providing a tailored solution that enhances the overall performance of the foundation. Engineers can change the size and shape of the footing to spread the weight evenly and stop it from sinking too much. This adaptability is one of the key strengths of eccentric footings, allowing them to be used in a wide range of construction scenarios and soil conditions. These advantages make eccentric footings a useful tool in construction today. They offer a combination of cost savings, space efficiency, load management, and adaptability that is hard to match with other types of foundations. As construction techniques continue to evolve, the role of eccentric footings is likely to become even more prominent. They help save space, save money, and handle different kinds of weight, making lots of building projects easier and better. By incorporating eccentric footings into their designs, builders and engineers can achieve greater efficiency and effectiveness, ultimately leading to more successful and sustainable construction projects.